guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to talk about body armor and the gray man theory versus the tactical theory. Let's go. Alright, so look, when I first started looking for body armor, I realized that I had two options. Option one was a Kevlar vest. Now, a Kevlar vest is basically a vest that's going to protect you against small ammunition. It's really light. Uh, you'll be able to move really good in it. It's flexible. It's not heavy at all. Um, for operators out there working, you know, 10, 12 hours a day, uh, it's definitely the go-to because it's not going to be too heavy. Uh, the second option is you can have a Kevlar vest or you can just have a holder for a plate carrier. Now, a plate carrier is extremely heavy. It's really bulky. Um, you know, you, you, you can move around just fine, but it's definitely going to wear on you, especially if you're going to have it on for a lot of hours. So what did I go with? Well, basically, I went with a plate carrier because the plate carrier can protect you against rifles, not only for small arms, but definitely um, bigger rifles. Now, there is one company out there that makes vests that I've seen thus far that actually looks and feels like a Kevlar vest, however, has the strength to protect you against rifle fire, even the uh, AK-47. I'll throw it out there for you guys to take a look at it. It is a little bit pricey, however, um, and also, I don't know how um, concealable that would be. So one thing that was important to me with picking a vest is I didn't want it to look like I had a vest on. So I ran into this company by the name of Caddy, it's C-A-T-I, Caddy.com, and, and what they did with their uh, plate is they actually provided a curvature for it so that it goes around your body, right? It curves with your chest, it curves with your back, making it a lot more concealable uh, when you have on a shirt. Now, I think it's probably best fit for guys that are smaller. Um, as you guys can see, I'm getting a little bigger, you know, so... It, it kind of protrudes out, protrudes out just a little bit, but I think um, you know definitely once I slim down some more, you should be able to wear a T-shirt with this uh, particular uh, plate, and you know somewhat be concealable. So anyway, that being said, let me go ahead and let you guys take a look at it. So basically, um, you've seen a def different footage of me wearing the caddy uh, body armor on with uh, over it, especially the other one with the jacket on. Um, definitely with the jacket on, uh, still kind of looks like I have something on the under there. So the objective is uh, maybe I need to like case it down, fix it a little better uh, to get it to be a little bit more low profile. And I think if I had a heavier jacket on, obviously. Um, it would be a lot more concealed. But look, it's, it's definitely getting hot. Everybody's gonna have the t-shirts, short sleeve shirts. So um, my my intent still is to find something that I can wear that nobody can really tell that I have one on. It's actually a clip, which is probably a little bit hard to do. So, like I said earlier, we talked about the gray man theory versus the tactical theory. For those of you who don't know, um, the gray man theory uh, goes as such. It basically said that in any type of situation, whether it's a survival situation or a breakdown or anything like that, you want to try to bring as, as less attention to yourself as possible. So basically, if you have a workout bag, if you if you do have a body armor, if you do have a weapon, if you do have uh, extra ammo and things like that, you have those things, but you want to keep it, right? So I guess the theory goes that if you're in a situation where a bunch of armed guys come into a neighborhood or a group, and you and, and you look like you're you're not a threat, and you're not you won't be perceived as a threat, and you stand a better chance of maybe uh, those guys not taking your things, or maybe you stand a better chance of evading and getting away and, and not really uh, not really being seen and get somewhere to you know some some safe distance between you and those guys. Obviously, if you have on bright color clothes and things like that, it'll be easily easily for you to be seen. Definitely, if you have a book bag 
with a, that's a bright colored book bag, you know, or I think a book bag in general. Um, and it's a bunch of armed guys, they don't want to take it for violence. Okay, so, you know, and that's the great man. Basically, trying to blend in, um, trying to not look like a threat, uh, you know, stuff like that. All right, yeah, the next theory is the tactical theory. And that is, you know, you just basically have guys in the military, special forces, you got a lot of tactical operators out there who actually wear this type of gear on a daily basis. And this is what they train with, and they'll start using this. Also, when they come back uh, from, uh, from duty, yes, a lot of them are preppers, a lot of them are survivalists and things like that. So I'm assuming when the shit does hit the fan, when they go out there, a lot of them will be dressed in their tactical gear. And not only that, you got a lot of civilians who go out there and they bought a lot of army, um, a lot of army tactical gear. And I guess if the shit hit the fan scenario, they'll be dressed in the tactical gear as well. Now the theory goes is if basically if you're out there like that, you have a bunch of tactical gear, you got your chest plate, you got your ammo right here, you got your gun strapped up, you have everything. Basically saying that you're a little more like a threat. So guys, if there is a group of individuals that come with guns and stuff like that, the first thing they'll do is try to eliminate you because they see you as a threat. Or the theory goes that you would make yourself a target. So individuals will want to steal what you have. Now, I was looking at a Canadian prepper and he said something that made a lot of sense. You basically say, look, if you want to go to tactical with weight, right? Then it's, if you can, but it's smart if you do it within a group. Because not only does it say that you got a tactical, but you got a uniform, it could possibly say, hey, there's a lot more use. You don't want to mess with this group because you never know what type of reinforcements are coming. It also says that you got to discipline, stuff like that. So when, when he said that, I thought, man, it really did make a lot of sense. Because um, at one point, I figured I would never, ever, ever go tactical. That's why ever since I've been doing this, I've been trying to find our civilian companies that make products that either mill spec or above. Still, I don't want to look like a military guy. And at the same time, I don't want to have any bright colors that make me stand out either. You know, so um, when he, so when Canadian Prepper said that it did make a lot of sense uh, to go tactical if you're in a group, it makes a lot of sense. Otherwise, I would definitely say gray man all the way, try your best, best to blend in, um, travel at night if you can, um, you know, try to take alternative uh, routes so you're not seen. Whatever you gotta do to to, uh, to 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 blend in, I would definitely say do that. Um, don't try to bring it to, to yourself, especially in a grid down uh, shit hit the fan scenario because you'll have a lot of groups. Some of these groups are disciplined, and at the end of the day, a lot of these people are not prepping. They're just going to take what they want. So definitely, uh, you want to you want to definitely stay under the radar so you know you can keep your life and definitely keep your stuff. So. Uh, I think that's basically all I have to say on the uh, body armor, gray man theory versus the tactical theory uh, for the most part. At the end of the day, like I said, my goal is to always be gray man out. So uh, that being that being said, um, go to caddy.com and get more information about the uh, best. Like I said, the curve for you slim guys is a really good choice for you because the uh, steel plates is curved and go around your body. It should be really difficult to kind of make up that you guys have to have the best on. So look, if I say anything that you guys think thought was helpful, please hit the like button. I, I definitely need those things to so YouTube to kind of share more of my videos. Um, comment if you guys have anything to say. Maybe I said something that doesn't make any sense. Maybe you guys know um, better options when it comes to the best. I would like to hear about it. And definitely subscribe. I'm definitely trying to get to 200. Uh, I'm trying my best to get there. So. Uh, that being said, um, I, I really appreciate you guys for watching and I will definitely see you guys on the next video.